everyone, this is Ekalpana here. In this video, we are going to solve a differential equation using solvable 4p method. So let's get started. Problem solve p square minus 2p sine h equals to 1. Solution. Given differential equation. P square minus 2P sine H equals to 1. You can write this as P square minus or plus or minus 2 sine H into P minus 1 equals to 0. Okay. So, this is in quartic form, right? Quartic equation in P. So, let's consider this equation with a quartic equation in P. Okay, we are going to compare this with the quartic equation in P, right? Then we'll get A, that is quotient of P square equals to 1 and B, quotient of P is equals to minus 2 sine Hx and C equals to minus 1. And we have quartic formula P equals to minus B plus or minus square root of B square minus 4AC by 2A, right? So that's your quartic formula P equals to minus B plus or minus square root of B square minus 4AC by 2A. Now substitute the values of A, B, C minus B that is minus of minus 2 sine H X plus or minus square root of B square is minus 2 sine H X whole square minus 4 into A into C by 2 A 2 times This is equals to minus into minus plus 2 sine h x plus or minus square root of minus 2 sine h x whole square is 4 sine h square x minus minus into minus plus 4 by 2. This is equals to 2 sine h x plus or minus square root of since we are having 4 in the discriminant, right? So, 4 in both the terms, right? So, we will take 4 common from these two terms. Then we will get 4 times sine h square x plus 1 by 2. Then P equals to 2 sine H X plus or minus square root of 4 into square root of sine H square X plus 1 by 2. This equals to 2 sine H X plus or minus, we know that square root of 4 is 2 into square root of sin h square x plus 1. Okay? By denominator 2. Now take 2 common from the numerator. Then you will get 2 times sin h x plus or minus square root of sin h square x plus 1 by 2. Now you can cancel this too, right? So this equals to sine hx plus or minus square root of sine h square x plus 1. Okay. We are having p equals to sine hx 
plus or minus square root of sine h square of x plus 1. Fine. We know that sine h x equals to since sine h x equals to e power x minus e power minus x y 2. Now replace sine h x. We will get then p equals to e power x minus e power minus x by 2 plus or minus square root of sine h square x that is sine h x whole square right for our convenience we can write sine h square x as sine h x whole square right so we'll get e power x minus e power minus x by 2 whole square plus 1. Okay. This is equals to e power x minus e power minus x by 2 plus or minus square root of. You can split this as e power x minus e power minus x whole square by 2 square plus 1. This is equals to e power x minus e power minus x by 2 plus or minus square root of. Now expand a minus b whole square that is a square plus b square minus 2ab. Okay. By 2 square is 4. Plus 1. Then P equals to E power X minus E power minus X by 2 plus or minus square root of e power x whole square is equals to e power 2x. Okay. Simply e power x whole power n can be written as e power n into x. Okay. So this becomes e power 2x plus e power minus 2x. Okay. For n equals to minus x. Minus 2 into we know that e power minus x is 1 by e power x. Right? So this becomes e power x into e power minus x can be written as 1 by e power x by 4 plus 1. Okay, since e power x whole power a is equals to e power a into x, so we'll get e power x whole square. We can write e power x whole square as e power two x and e power minus x whole square as e power minus two x. Okay, fine. So this equals to e power x minus e power minus x by 2 plus or minus square root of e power 2x plus e power minus 2x. Here e power get, get cancelled. So you get minus 2 plus 4 into 1. 4 by LCM 4 is equals to e power x minus e power minus x by 2. Plus or minus, you can split this as square root of numerator that is e power 2x plus e power minus 2x plus 4 minus 2 is plus 2 by 4. Okay. So this equals to e power x minus e power minus x by 2 plus or minus square root of. Here you are having e power 2x, right? 
and e power minus 2x. So you can write this as e power x whole square plus e power minus x whole square plus 2. You're having 2 into 1, right? 2 in the sense, 2 into 1. We know that e power x into 1 by e power x is equal to 1. And you can write this 1 by e power x as e power minus x. Okay. So here you can replace this 1 by e power x into e power minus x. By. Yeah. See, we can split this expression as square root of numerator by square root of denominator, okay? So, from this you'll get square root of, since square root of 4 is 2, so you'll get 2 in the denominator. Okay? So this is equals to e power x minus e power minus x by 2 plus or minus square root of a square plus b square plus 2ab is a plus b whole square, right, by Okay, since we know that square root of a equals to a power 1 by 2, then we can write square root of e power x plus e power minus x to the whole square as a, that is e power x plus e power minus x whole square to the power 1 by 2. And we know that a power m whole power n equals to a power m into n. Then you can write this as a power m into n. The two gets cancelled. So you will get e power x plus e power minus x power 1. Which is equal to e power x plus e power minus x. Right? So, we can replace square root of e power x plus e power minus x whole square by e power x plus e power minus x. So, this is equal to e power x minus e power minus x by 2 plus or minus e power x plus e power minus x by 2. Okay. So this is equals to e power x plus or minus e power minus x. See, you're having same denominator in both the terms, right? So you can write this as okay. Since we are having plus or minus, so you can express the total expression into two expressions. Then P equals to e power x minus e power minus x plus e power x plus e power minus x by 2. And P equals to e power x minus e power minus x minus of e power x plus e power minus x by 2. Okay. Fine. This is equals to e power x minus e power minus x plus e power x plus e power minus x by 2 here. Minus e power minus x and plus e power minus x gets cancelled. So this equals to e power x plus e power x to e power x by 2. 
K2 gets cancelled, so this is equals to e power x, right? So we have, we got p equals to e power x from this expression, right? So let's cancel the second one. This equals to e power x minus e power minus x minus e power x minus e plus minus e power minus x by 2. Here e power x and minus e power x gets cancelled, so this is equals to minus e power minus x and minus e power minus x is minus 2 e power minus x by 2. Again, 2 gets cancelled, so this is equals to minus e power minus x. So, from the second expression we got p equals to minus e power minus x. have p equals to e power x and p equals to minus e power minus x. Okay. So let's find solution for the first equation. So let's consider p equals to e power x. Now put p equals to dy by dx then dy by dx equals to e power x then dy equals to e power x into dx now integrate on both sides. Integral dy equals to integral e power x into dx. Then we know that integral dy is y and e power x dx is e power x plus integral constant c. From this we'll get y minus e power x minus c equals to 0 which is solution to this equation. Okay. Y minus e power x minus c equals to 0. Now consider the second one. p equals to minus e power minus x. Now put p equals to dy by dx. Then we'll get dy by dx equals to minus e power minus x. Okay. Then dy equals to minus e power minus x into dx. Now perform integration. Integral dy equals to minus integral e power minus x into dx. Then integral dy is y equals to minus Integral e power minus x is e power minus x by minus 1. Okay. Plus c. Then y equals to. You can write this as minus or. You can write this as minus e power minus x plus c. Okay. 1 by minus 1 can be written as minus 1. So that you'll get minus e power minus x. Okay. Fine. Then y equals to minus to minus plus e power minus x plus c. Then y minus e power x minus c equals to 0 which is solution to this equation. y minus e power minus x Minus c equals to 0. So the combined form of these two solutions will be the required solution to the given differential equation. Therefore, y minus e power x minus c into y minus e power minus x minus c equals to 0 is the required solution. So this completes problem. So we have seen a problem from solvable puppy in this video. Hope you will understand. We will see you in the next video. Until then. Bye bye.